3, 2, 1, go! The flow test is conducted by flowing uh, demineralized water through the injector. And as you can see, the setup consists of a, of a large uh, propellant tank, which is being repurposed for, for these flow tests. And it has a capacity of around 300 liters. Uh, we put approximately uh, 70, 60, 70 liters of, of water into this tank. And then we, we, uh, we uh, put pressure on it uh, and bring it to about in, in somewhere in the area between six, uh, five and six bars. The, uh, the concept is that you want to put a pressure drop over the injector which mimics the pressure drop that it will operate with uh, when, once the engine is running. And uh, in BPM5 we are expecting something on the order of three bars to be the nominal operating point. That's what we designed the injector for. So for a chamber pressure of 15 bars, which is the nominal operating pressure for the engine, we would expect to feed the, uh, the liquid oxygen uh, into the injector plate with at approximately 18 bars. And similarly for the, uh, for the fuel side, uh, it'll be close to, to those numbers as well. Uh, when we do the flow testing, of course, we don't have the chamber pressure uh, of the engine. We only have atmospheric pressure. So uh, in essence, that means that we are operating a, a virtual engine, so to speak, with a, uh, a chamber pressure of one bar or one atmosphere pressure, meaning that we will mimic the operation of the engine by putting, say, four bars of pressure uh, on the uh, injection side uh, of the injector, which then gives you the pressure drop of three bars nominally over the injector. Um, during the test, you flow a, uh, a amount of liquid through the injector, um, and the idea is that by doing the test at different feed pressures, you are going to get different flow rates through the injector phase. And uh, of course, uh, when doing this with water, you have a different uh, density and a different viscosity uh, as opposed to doing it with uh, ethanol fuel or liquid oxygen oxidizer. So you need to compensate for those uh, differences. Um, the way the measurements are done is that you, you, uh, you measure the, the, the pressure uh, of the, the pressure end in the tank, so that would be say six bars of, of pressure in, in, uh, in, the, in the large tank and you measure the pressure uh, of the uh, prop uh, propellant or the water in this case being fed into the injector. So that would be somewhere on the order of five, four bars in this case. And then you, press, uh, you measure the, uh, the amount of water that you pass through um, and we do this uh, in two different ways. We do a, a flow meter measurement which is simply a a device with a small impeller that measures the amount of water per unit time that passes through the injector. And then we measure the entire mass of water that you accumulate over a certain period of time. The test setup is fully automated. So uh, in essence, it's commanded, uh, it commands uh, the uh, a, uh, pneumatically operated valve to open and stay open for a fixed period of time, in this case 20 seconds. And then uh, the tank, uh, the water in the tank is dispensed through the injector for that period of time. And then it closes automatically after those 20 seconds have transpired. So by doing this with different tank pressures, you're going to be seeing different amounts of water passing through the injector over those 20 seconds. And uh, by doing this at a, at a number of different pressure points, you're going to get a full characterization of what the injector does at different operating pressures. And you then uh, go about the mathematics of compensating those numbers and changing it to what it would have looked like had it been liquid oxygen or ethanol fuel instead. And those are the numbers you can see here. So if we, if we go through these panes one at a time, you have uh, here on, on the top left you have the tank pressures and you can see this is for a, the uh, a test performed on the on the fuel side of the injector so we've done six different runs 
with six different uh, operating pressures on starting operating points uh, for the pressures in the tank. Uh, and of course you can see that as we've pressurized with atmospheric air and we are depleting the tank volume, uh, the pressure drops and you, you get something that mimics an adiabatic expansion of, of the pressure in the tank. Uh, the next pane shows you the injection uh, pressure uh, on the fuel side of the injector. So this is a little a downstream right before the, uh, the, the water, in this case uh, the, the our fuel emulator, enters the injector. So here you see uh, uh, pressure measurements which closely mimics those of the tank pressure but with an offset. And that offset is also depicted down here and says that we are dropping about 0.4 bars uh, of pressure drop uh, through the uh, pneumatically operated uh, valve and through the piping between the tank and the uh, um, uh, and the injector itself. The uh, topmost pane over here shows the the flow meter readings, and as you can see, you are getting something that looks fairly linear. Uh, and this is simply uh, in in reality, it is not entirely linear, of course, because the pressure does change. Had the pressure been constant, this would have been a, a, a totally linear function. But it shows you the uh, the uh, amount of, uh, of propellant, or fuel or water in this case, that is passed through the injector versus the time uh, of, the, of the test run. And from that you can then derive the, uh, the flow rate, and this is then the mass flow rate for this particular type of test medium and at this particular pressure points with these uh, flow readings. And that would then see uh, from there we can then derive that you are getting you are getting uh, performance like uh, for instance if you are applying six bars of operating pressure you are going to get 1.35 kilograms per second of fuel passing through the injector. So this from these numbers you get a full characterization of the injector, which you can then use uh, to size the uh, the operating point of, of the motor for flight and for static test. And that's what we're doing in this case. So once you've uh, gone through the numbers, uh, you, we, we find that for these, uh, the first prototype injectors we've done, or we have had protobuilt do uh, with, with for us, we're getting a performance which is about between 1.5 and, and 1% from the theoretical optimum. So we're quite happy with the performance that we are getting here. It's, uh, it's uh, actually quite close to, uh, to what the theory describes that it should be. It's yeah. possible yeah. 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 to get it. Yeah. It's a very good explanation on that. It was quite clear. Yeah. Yeah. Can you remember the discussion with filters? Hvad er alt det? Hvad skal jeg der er ikke noget filter på fuel side. Nå, ja. Nej. Det har vi ikke, det har vi ikke fået noget af. Nej. Bemærker du det der, det der ene hul, der sprayede skævt? Nej, jeg var optaget til det. Nå, så prøv lige at se, vise ham, hvad du hæver ud af det. Jeg ved ikke, hvor den blev af. Nå, du... Bliv væk. Den var, den var så beviset. Ja. Væk med beviset. Den der. Det, det, jeg tror, det, det vil være det. Fuelfilteret koster helt klart et tryk. Ja, ja, det gør det. Men altså sige, det er noget, du bilder dig ind i, Jonas. Vil du ikke med på nogle af mine billeder? Nå. Ja, ja, så, skete, så skete det ikke. Nej. Nej, jeg, jeg tror jeg faktisk, jeg har fået det med. Hvis mm. den går helt her. Ja, ja. ja. Det er svært at presse til, når det kan man så konstatere. Men det var lige, at det lykkedes. In addition to the, uh, the flow meter readings, which give you the, uh, the amount of, of water flowing through per second, you also do a, a, sort of a, a total accumulation of the water that you've passed through during the duration of the test. So in this case we put a big a big bucket underneath and we collect all the water that passes through it and this is then weighed and that gives you a sanity check uh, of the flow meter readings. So in essence you are you are, you are capable of calibrating the, the readings from that sense.
So the, the next four minutes of this video contains the, uh, the, the test runs from both the liquid oxygen side and the fuel side of the injector. And uh, it'll show you what the, the injector spray pattern looks like for different operating pressures. Enjoy.